In this video, I just wanted to take some time and talk about a TV show that I recently watched called Severance. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the show, at least people that own Apple TV Plus have been talking about the show, but I never really got into that show when it first came out. I put on the first episode and I started watching about 10 minutes in, I decided that the show really wasn't it for me. It was moving a bit too slowly. So just like what I did with Ted Lasso, I turned it off. But then I decided to randomly visit the show because I heard that the season finale dropped and honestly, I was running out of things to watch. I believe Severance came out during the time when other TV shows that I was interested in were coming out, specifically Peacemaker, if I remember correctly. But now that I don't have any TV shows to watch, or at least not as many as before, I decided to give it a try. And what I found was that I actually really enjoyed the show. This is one of my favorite TV shows I've seen and it's really a testament to how far we've come with Apple TV Plus where at least so far two of my favorite TV shows, my top two favorite TV shows have been on Apple TV Plus, third one being upload on Amazon Prime. However, after watching Severance, I think this is now my third favorite show, or at least in the top three. So what is Severance about? Well, chances are, if you're watching this video, you already know what it's about, but for the people that don't, it's a story where employees of a very evil company, at least evil to us based on what they do, they go through a procedure called severance, which is where their mind is kind of split in half. So when they enter their workspace, they don't remember anything from their personal life. And then when they enter their homes or when they leave their workspace, really, they don't remember anything from their work life. And the idea sounds very interesting and you don't really think it's a bad thing until you realize that if you're the memory that's in the workspace, then you're essentially trapped there because every single time you leave, through the doors, your next memory is coming back in. And you don't know on the outside if you have a family or not or what the outside world is like and that information is not shared with you. So this TV show really follows more of what's happening on the inside, the consequences of being on the inside versus the outside and how it starts to feel like a mental prison and how curiosity starts peaking when you realize that you've been told that you're working for a really great company but they start to seem shady in the things that they do. I was really blown away by the premise because it's not something that's been done before on other platforms, at least not to my knowledge. And I really appreciate ideas that feel brand new and this definitely does. The thing that really stuck with me and got me thinking was the fact how easily dismissible this entire show could be when you think of the premise that your brain is split into two but then you realize how your outside self, the one that comes home may not have a problem but the one that is staying in the workplace they're basically trapped in there like it's a prison and that is something beautiful to think about now i put on the first episode like i said in the beginning i didn't really watch it but then i came back on and i finished the episode and that's when i loved the show just from the first episode or maybe it was the second episode but i kept going and i accidentally ended up binge watching the entire show in one night and honestly i wish i hadn't done that this show was so good that i wish i I, I wish it lasted longer. I wish it didn't end so soon. And so if I was watching this when it came out periodically, I think I would have liked it more, though I would have been a bit stressed because I wanted to know what's happening while at the same time having to wait. That being said, another beautiful thing about the show that really stuck out to me was the cinematography. There is something to be said about Apple TV's shows that feel very grandiose and beautiful and visually appealing to watch. It's like they spend a lot of money on set designs and beautiful lighting to make sure everything looks pristine and clean and it really shows. Specifically for shows like Severance, shows like Ted Lasso, Servant, where so much detail has been spent in developing the set and the lighting, where it makes you feel like you're essentially watching something that was made on a budget for a movie. So this is one of if not definitely the most visually striking show. In fact, its beauty is in its simplicity. When you see the workspace, there's really nothing much to see apart from the characters, but that's really what sets the eerie vibe, the eerie mood. The overall writing, was also fantastic. I think a few episodes did slow down here and there and there were some plot lines, I believe, that sort of allude or foreshadow as to what's gonna happen in future seasons, if not just throw us off as red earrings. But overall, I think it's a very well done show. I mean, like I said, I was blown away. I really like how unique the show is and how much it leaves the audience with questions rather than answers. And it really makes you think about what you would do if you were in this show if you were in this situation and would you or would you not go ahead and 
do the servants, the servants procedure. Overall, I am excited about season 2. I will definitely watch it when it comes out. And the one thing that the show did, which I really love, which Marvel TV shows consistently fail at, is right at the end, Marvel TV shows always cut off before that answer, before that giveaway, before that gift. And you're always left with wanting more, but more than that, it leaves you frustrated, but Severance didn't do any of that. Somehow, it gave you everything that you wanted to know, while at the same time, leaving you on a cliffhanger ending. And that's beautiful. Like I said, I keep using that word a lot, but this show is just beautiful. It's downright creepy. It makes you feel uncomfortable, but it's magical. It's really great, and it's really unique, and even the soundtrack, the music that plays in the background, when they're at their workspace, or when they're contemplating leaving, whatever it is, it's also paired very well. Overall, the show has really blown me away, and I think this might be, like I said, one of my top favorite TV shows, and I really cannot wait until season 2 drops. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, if you've seen this show or not. I highly recommend watching it for at least three episodes. The first episode may seem a bit slow, so feel free to skip around at least to the halfway point, but then just keep watching for what it is. I just wanted to talk about this show because, like I said, I really liked it and I wanted to share my happiness with other people. But yeah, I hope you guys like the show and I will see you guys next time.